All right, a Half-Life 3 gun lineup, if it was to come out. I would want to start with a Chris Vector as your primary SMG. It kind of fits with the motif of weird, um, not conventional firearms that a lot of people can get a hold of. Just like the you know, MP7 from Half-Life 2. Uh, MP5 kind of for Half-Life 1, but a little more common nowadays. But I think a Chris Vector would be really cool. Part of like the Combine's weapons and the... You know, I don't know how the game would even go at that point for Half-Life 3. I'm not talking about plot, I'm talking about the gun lineup. So a, a Chris Vector would be a cool start. A... Uh, let's go with the pistol. So for a primary pistol, I would like either a 5.7 or maybe like a P226, maybe P229, I don't care. Uh, maybe P320, but I think for like a bigger kind of like what looks imposing but really isn't is a 5.7. Um, I know it fires weird rounds, you know, the whole 5.7 by 28 millimeter, but I think this would just be really cool because previously... We're talking about a USP, but I mean, that's the USP match in the game of Half-Life 2, so it's got like a compensator and stuff. But as you can see, these guns are both pretty big and imposing. So I think a 5.7 would be a really cool change of pace from, you know, a USP, well, the USP match, which is kind of goofy. For revolvers, I think to just keep it classic, something simple that like anybody could get a hold of in like the Half-Life universe. Again, I don't know where Half-Life 3 would go. I don't think it would ever come out. But I think a revolver, keeping that simple, maybe like a Smith & Wesson, some kind of 44 Magnum. Something simple gives you still, you know, loading rounds. That'd be pretty cool. So just keeping it simple. I don't know if a Chiapa Rhino or something big and goofy like that would really work. I mean, it could be futuristic-esque, but it is like a dystopian future. So keeping some normal guns mixed with some highly modernized guns like a Chris Vector or a 5.7 would be kind of interesting. Um, so other than that, shotguns, I think a Spaz 12, that's always classic, but what I think would be cooler would be maybe some kind of other, like a semi-auto and you go to like, a, you know, like a Benelli or something, some kind of semi-auto shotgun. Uh, Maybe not, like, so you got, like, mag-fed ones. Like, this is, like, representative of, like, a mag-fed shotgun. But I think this would be a lot cooler. Obviously not, like, this color. This is just a stupid Nerf gun. These are all fake. This is just fun stuff that are fun to screw around with. But some kind of semi-auto shotgun, uh, that would be really dope. I think that would work really great because it would change the pace, give, like, players a new set of gameplay, but without removing a lot of it. Like, cool pump-action shotgun, yeah, but Gordon Freeman pumps it so fast. You could do a semi-auto and not really care. And plus, they have a lot of that stuff from, like, Counter-Strike 2. They could easily transfer a lot of it over and update the gameplay a little. For a assault rifle, or not your light SMG, like, whatever, I think a SCAR L or H. But I think a SCAR H would be pretty cool, but a SCAR L with this kind of configuration. You've got, I mean, obviously not the peck box, but... Just the grenade launcher would add that missing grenade launcher piece that the you know MP7 and the MP5 had in Half-Life 1 and 2. But putting on the assault rifle or an assault weapon would make more sense to me. And I think it would fit better gameplay wise because you wouldn't have a grenade launcher right away. You could just use because like I want a reason to use grenades. And with the grenade launcher, that kind of replaces grenade use. So give me something to use grenades in the beginning and learn how to use them. But then, you know, when you get your assault weapon, you get a giant grenade launcher. And this is a, you know, grenade launcher. You know, you would, and it actually fits and makes sense. The grenade launcher on the MP7, there isn't really a grenade launcher, other than that they kind of designed it that way. But for an assault weapon, SCAR L, SCAR H with its grenade launcher attachment, it gives it a really good design. And I think that design choice is really cool because it's got that silhouette that looks very interesting and futuristic futuristic esque other than that i don't know what else obviously you have your future stuff um maybe do a bullpup you know maybe not the famas but you know the australian you know aug that'd be kind of cool you get your weirder guns with the bullpup plus with the bullpup instead of just you know this generic foregrip that a lot of people see that's built in 
you can get a you know barrel shroud extender and it has more rail systems on it and stuff that would be pretty neat too so you have options and i think what i would like to see maybe ooh, an aug is like a, a sniper or like a support you know battle rifle kind of thing that'd be kind of neat but i know half-life obviously deviates into sci-fi stuff more than just conventional weaponry but that would be my idea of a loadout if they were to do a half-life 3 obviously you have like the crossbow with shoots hot rebar and other goofy stuff like the actual sci-fi weapons but i think that would be a really fun loadout i plan on doing more of these videos where i run around this room grab different you know airsoft guns and try to build loadouts for video games that could come out in the future would be a really cool idea and i just like doing this so if you like it let me know i want to try to do more sorry for the messy legos and stuff that's my kid but thank you and have a good day